Yesterday was Jessica's birthday. She turned 21 years old. I volunteered to bake a cake, but I didn't have all the ingredients I needed. I drove to the grocery store to buy some eggs, sugar, icing, and candles. The store was really busy. Luckily, I didn't need to buy much, so I grabbed a basket and headed straight for the baking aisle. I find the sugar and the icing, then I head over to the egg and dairy section. I grab a dozen eggs. I only need a couple of eggs for the cake, but Martha, my wife, loves to eat eggs. Now I just needed to find the candles. I looked all over, but I couldn't find them. Finally, I stopped one of the store employees and asked her, where do I find the birthday candles? She led me right back to the baking aisle. I couldn't believe it. There they were, right beside the icing. I headed to the cashier to pay for my groceries. The line was very long, so I wait patiently for my turn. Finally, there's just one woman ahead of me. She's an elderly woman. The cashier scans her groceries, and she only has a few items, so it doesn't take long. The cashier tells her the total is $12.46. The woman reaches into her purse to get her wallet. Something is wrong. She rummages through her purse. Her face looks worried. She looks at the cashier and says that she can't find her wallet. She tells the cashier that she needs these groceries, but she can't pay for them. I take a step forward and ask the woman if there's anything that I can do to help. She tells me that she's lost her wallet. She looks at me. Her eyes are moist and sad. I reach into my pocket and pull out my wallet. I look at the woman and tell her that I would be happy to pay for her groceries. She says no, she can't let me do that. But I insist. I tell her that I have forgotten my wallet before and I know how scary it is. She smiles and says, thank you so much. I'm happy to help, I say. I tap my debit card on the payment terminal. The woman grabs my hand and shakes it, saying, thank you, thank you. She asks me my name and I tell her, it's Curtis. My name is Curtis Penner. She thanks me again and leaves the store. I pay for my groceries and head home. Later that evening, we're at the park. We've just finished eating our pizza and I'm about to put the cake on the table when I hear a man yelling. We turn to see a big yellow dog. I think it was a golden retriever. The dog is running straight for our table. It's chasing a cat. The cat jumps onto our table and knocks the empty pizza box over. The dog is running at full speed. It squeezes between me and the table. I'm knocked off balance and the cake goes flying. But here's the amazing part. The cake flips over in the air and lands perfectly on the picnic table. The man who was yelling at the dog runs up to us. He stops and asks us if we're okay. I tell him that we're all fine. He apologizes again and continues running after the dog. We all look at each other in complete disbelief. We can't believe what just happened. We sit down at the table and cut into the birthday cake. Who thought that eating at the park could be so exciting? If you like this short story in English, then subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's another story coming very soon.